Welcome to the first Epic Vlog. I've decided to do a vlog here on Epic Genealogy for a number of reasons, and chief among them is this has been quite a journey so far, and I'm really just at the beginning of connecting my family and getting to know more information about Mia Familia, and I wanted to be able to keep track of a lot of the research and all the, the context that I'm making and, and some of the, a lot of the stories, because I kept track, I, I, I started my Facebook group pages for part of the reason was to keep track of the research I'm doing, and also, of course, to keep track of all the context that I'm making. And so I'm able to not only contact living cousins, then I'm able to stay in contact with them. So, so despite what I may feel about Facebook, it has been a very, very powerful tool in connecting and staying connected with cousins. I also wanted to keep track of all these events that are happening and all the things that I have planned. And as they start falling into place, I want to be able to have a record of that. So just coming up this week, this week, the culmination of a year's worth of work is a, I'm, I, I know I use the word epic a lot, but it really is an epic family event that uh, should happen next week that is 120 years in the making. This hasn't happened in our family in one, at least 120 years. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I invite you to join me on this journey. I'll be trying to do these a few days a week in addition to the regular content here on Epic Genealogy. So if you're not already subbed, get subbed so that you don't miss this awesome content. And I just want to say thank you. I uh, just hit 400 subs today, so appreciate that. So another example of something that's happened, the kind of things that I want to chronicle, is I found my grandmother's Ellis Island record. She was only a little kid when she came over, 1919. She was like seven or eight years old. And of course, because she was just a child, she was there with her mother and brother and, and other parts of the family. Well, right next to her was a someone called Yakima Carollo. And he was from Cadini also, and I figured hey, maybe he's related. So not only was Giacomo Carollo related, he's a, like a first or second cousin, I was able to do through census records and other records and obituaries, I was able to get contact with his great-grandchildren. So I found out a little bit more of the history of the Carollo family. They had gone to, part of them went to, I believe, Detroit, and one of them was in the Mafia. So Pietro Carollo, kind of the black sheep of, that, of the Carollo family. But getting in touch with one of the great-grandchildren, I was able to get a picture of Yakimo. I'm not going to post it here, but 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 that's how cool is that? So part of the plan is to get a picture of everyone from Carini who was on that particular ship and on that Ellis Island record and be able to post that. So it's things like that that I want to keep track of. So that's going to be it for this particular one. This is the very first epic vlog. I'm going to try to get at least two of these up every week in addition to the regular content here on Epic Genealogy. So thanks for watching. I think we have a bunny. Thank <laughs> you.